Yo, how's it, y'all? This is Player. So um, today I'm going to be showing you how to master a track in FL Studio. So there's a lot of ways you can go about doing this, and everybody does it differently. So I'll show you how I do it. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. So what we have here is like um, a hip-hop beat that I produced. All right, so what I usually do is um, I compose the beat and stuff, produce it. Then after, I render out the stems, right, separately. For example, you can see these are the kicks. Hats. So then I group all of these stems separately. The first section, which is this section, is the hats, the kicks, the snares you know, those type of things. Then the second section, which is this section, is the scenes, um, all those other type of sounds that are in the beat, right? So then each um, stem has to get its own channel. So that way you can focus on it. You can actually focus on how it's supposed to sound and how you want it to sound. Because that's the aim of mastering. Mastering is like making um, something sound louder, but still sound Perfect, no distortion, and also making it sound the way you want it to sound. So yeah, let's get to it. So first of all, uh, I would like to say that um, it's best that you use studio monitors for mastering because they give you the sound the way it is. So if it sounds bad, then you know that it's, you're supposed to fix it and you know where to fix because it sounds bad. But if you use any normal speaker or normal speakers, it might give you a sound that um, sounds good you think that your certain um, instrument or certain kick or certain hat or certain anything sounds good when it actually sounds bad. So when you play it in your car, it sounds very different from what you had when you were mastering it. So you can also use headphones, but it must be proper, proper high quality headphones that would give you a clear sound, you see. So yeah, let's get to it. So here I got the kicks, right? So what I like to do, I first like to use um, the Fruity EQ, right? Then I put on the kick preset. But I want it to sound more louder and has more body into it. So I add the blood overdrive Fruity distortion. Think that sounds perfect so it's all about the, the ear guys like you're the one who hear how you want it to sound and if it's fine so it's different for any other song it's different for any other genre but it's all about the ear if you can hear how it sounds and how you want it to sound then that's the most important thing when it comes to mastering all right now the heads So let's share. Every sound that's on the high section, make sure that it has proper highs. And every sound that's on the low section, make sure it has proper lows and every sound that's on the mid section, make sure it has proper mid. Yeah, I wanted to make that head a bit um, rough compared to the other ones. Because hip hop, you know, you have to play around with a lot of heads. So here's what we have so far. All 
All right, so now we are going to the snares. So here's the first snare. This slide here on the fruity parametric EQ two, the, the third um, knob is actually gives the sound more body. So if you want your sound to have more body, you should play around with this one. Now on to the next one. You have to play around with this setting. You have to find the, 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 the section where actually when you play your certain sound, it's not distorted and it's not hitting your ears. So that's another thing you should put into consideration when you master a song. All right, on to the next one. Let's see which one is this one. All right, so these are just like hits that I just grouped together into one sound. Um, all right. then these are chants. So every sound is important in your mix and mastering section. Like you have to pay attention, you have to give each sound what it needs. So every sound you have to give special attention to. Because at the end, all the sounds going to be one sound. The aim of the 808 is to be the best, right? So it's supposed to have what it's meant to be. I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah.
All right, let's see how that sounds. Sounding very nice so far. All right, we are done with the first section, which is the kicks, the hats and all. So let's hear how that part sounds. Awesome. So now on to the second section, which is the instruments and stuff.
So like I said, now the, the, the thing, the, what is it? The important thing right now is to make sure that you pay attention to every sound, right? Make sure that every sound sounds um, very nice, very clean, not, not distorted and stuff. Then when you're done, then that's when you can play all the sounds together and now you do the volume adjustments, you know? All right, so um, I'm done with the second section. So sorry for not talking while I was doing all of that. It's because the video was going to be long if I had to explain everything that I was doing here. But the main important thing, um, the equalizer, where you fix how you, you want your sound to sound. If you wanted to have more bass, then you know the bass section is this side. If you wanted to have more mids, then you know the mid section is here. More highs, the high section is here. So like I said, it's all about hearing. If you want your sound to sound the way you want it to sound, then you just adjust here. And if it doesn't sound right, you adjust where it doesn't sound right. You know what I'm saying? Then you can use the, um, the, the, the overdrive for upping up, um, for boosting the sound and stuff and reverbs for giving it that feel. You know what I'm saying? So those are the main important things when it comes to um, the mastering section. Everything must be loud, but still clear and quality must be tops. 
every sound. So each and every sound. So yeah, now I'm, now I'm done with both of um, the sections. So let's hear how it sounds now. Remember that I still have to equalize or um, turn up or turn down some of these volumes, right? So now it's, I was just paying attention to the sounds, like making sure that every sound sounds nice. So now after we're just going to jump straight into the equalization of the volumes and stuff. So let's hear how it sounds anyway. All right, <laughs> the sounds are definitely loud now. So now they're just, some are louder than others. So now it's time for us to do the volume adjustments. So what I usually do, cause the kick section, everything is perfect here, right? The, the, the section that has kicks and. Now I just add the sounds one by one, starting by the main sounds and adjust them as I go. So that sounds fine. So far, so good. So you see that now when you adjust them separately, they are coming along very, very nice. All right, now it's sounding very, very nice. So yeah, let's have a listen to how the 
bit sounds now. Yep. So yeah, that's it guys. That's how I mix um, and master my tracks. Oh, beats. But yeah, like I said, there's a lot of ways where you can go about doing it. Some people do it differently. So I was just showing you how I do it. So yeah, um, right now, I think, yeah, everything is done. So I'll just play um, how it sounds when it's not mastered. And I'll play this one that we just mastered now. At the end so yeah but then that's it guys see you on the next one don't forget to like share and subscribe